Hello there, Eronar here, and now we are going to have a look at the Pylos faction. Pylos is led by the Nestor, a very weak hero, which has a lot of abilities. He is able to spam abilities, and he got the uh, Arista and Rage generation. So you want to use your Nestor hero as much as possible, but please don't duel with other heroes. He got many useful abilities to decrease enemies, to improve your units, and to make your frontline even more frontline. Let's have a look on his infantry roster. The standard militia expendable unit, very weak. Very cheap, usually do not recommend. However, young spears are the solid front, solid charger and flanker in early game. Uh, well, but but there is one unit, one new unit of the pilots roster which is able to replace young spears in uh, some roles. The Pylon Tone Watch is slightly weaker, uh, slightly better charger and has better flanking and a new ability. Kentaurian Wedge is perfect for extra charge bonus uh, at the cost of the speed, so usually you want to activate it right before the impact. Young Spears, on the other hand, are not so good flankers, but they are able to deal damage. So you can use them in the pair. Next unit of the Pylos is Pylon Light Spearman, which is which looks like a weaker version of the standard Spearman. But there is a new thing about the Pylos. It is the Shield War, war Formation. This ability uh, is used by the Coribantes. It's giving them a lot of defense armor and missile blocks. So they are able to eat a lot of damage. And from and they can transform from the big unit to be very strong. But it has a limited duration and it is on cooldown. So the best is to use this ability as much as you can, otherwise you are going to have problems. Next we have Light Swordsman, standard cheap flanker unit. Uh, you have much faster version of the flanker, maybe a little bit weaker, uh, but Light Swordsmen are very good thanks to their shields and their speed. Then we go to the mid game with tier 2 units. The upgrade that charge unit is the Palan City Guards, which has bonus against swords. Very handy. It also has the wedge formation for extra charge and more damage and very decent attack and defense stats. Uh, this is formidable charger and flanker, but without any shield or armor. The next the frontline upgrade is the Pallian Spearman. Again, your frontline must be very active by using this ability as, as much as you can, so you can overcome other front lines. It has decent stats and every shield, so that's why you are going to use shield wall to boost it above the average. Another core unit of the mid game are the club warriors. They are perfect flankers with some handy javelins, flanking attack. They are they have strong melee attack and defense. They are very solid and fast for uh, most of the games. 
A last mid-game infantry unit is the Pillian Swordmen. Uh, they are slightly more heavy flankers. They are better to support your front line uh, not, and not be running around like club warriors. So you put these on the flanks of your front line. They have decent shield and pretty average stats. Next we go to the late game. We start with the uh, armor upgrade of the swords. They have much better weapon. Uh, they keep the flanking and very good shield. And also they have pretty strong stats for costing so little. Next we have a much improved version of the Spearmen. Companions of Nestor are very strong in the multiplayer as well. They have pretty high speed uh, defense, solid weapon and together with shield wall formation their defense is going to be very high. And also their block block chance is pretty solid so this is your late game frontline unit you will enjoy using the shield wall formation and watching them how they can hold the ground with improved defense it's even better and the heavy upgrade of the charger are the pillows palace guards with decent attack and weapon they are just like the other heavy chargers, maybe with more HP and better stats. Next we move on on the missiles. We have very efficient famous Achaean slingers. You will want to use them in early game as much as possible. Next is the bowman which is a useless unit, very weak. Do not recommend. Instead skirmishers are much faster and doing pretty nice damage thanks to having more models compared to other missiles. In mid game you will have access to the pillion archers which are way better than standard archers, have decent range and damage and very useful abilities to be able to shoot while moving. So you are able to chase enemy units and shooting arrows to their backs while they are running. And in the late game we, we got Pylon Veteran Archers with standard range, pretty good damage. They, are, they can be decent in the melee and again they can shoot while moving which is very useful not only in the early but also during the chasing. I would say the missile roster is kind of average. They have some good uh, archers and they have access to the best, cheapest links. And also they have very efficient javelins for skirmishing, but they don't have any long range. One specialty of the pylos is the chariots. We, we don't have just uh, medium chariots and the, the reinforced chariots, we have something better, something stronger and something with the, the, our favorite wedge formation. With nice 40 charge plus this uh, charge bonus will be very strong uh, when using in the game. The heavy version is even stronger even better charge, even more base damage and also ability to use wedge formation. You will really love to use these uh, chariots. They are slightly stronger and more expensive than standard ones, but the cost is totally worth it. Now we will have a look on a very simple uh, first battle of, the, of this faction. You will have to start the campaign, recruit some units and go against very, your very first enemy. 
In this replay, I have managed to be attacked by by the enemy army plus the garrison. Just to show you a simple game plan, uh, we have the front line of my spears. I will be holding the ground and using uh, terrain to not be flanked from from this side. And then I have my the chargers that will be going to flank around. I expect enemy to be going against me forward. First thing to have a look is the is how they are going to be good against missiles. Their missiles are uh, their singers are shooting at our uh, light spearmen, but they are in the forest, they have good shield, they are able to eat a lot of arrows for easy. They have lost almost 200 HP, which is nothing right now. Now, as you can see, I can already going to push and flank while enemy is going to face my well grouped front line so when enemy is out in the open i will be able to pick apart some weak units and if you wonder my hero is also having the the spearman unit in the historical mode so that's why i can extend my front line right here now let's go and have fun with our attacking forces i have been using my wedge formation and already going to surround it and here I will do very nice swap charge. I'm charging with my young spears, pulling back my uh, pillion city guards, so the vanquisher can be caught. Nice thing about the pillion tone watch is that they are, they have attack flank attack improved. That's why they are able to very quickly route enemy units. Like here, I'm going to absolutely charge and finish off the enemy unit. Very nice charge. Absolutely blobbing and pulling enemy. Very easy win. Right here. Thanks to big speed, we are able to catch enemy missiles and push forward to my front lines. Here, as you can see, my front line is still holding very nicely. They st still have a lot of HP. So I can keep focusing on winning the center. Let's speed this up, bring more units. And since flankers did a good job, it will be a time to support my front line as well. As you can see, very nice wedge formation. Chasing of enemy units and enemy is going to route. That's pretty much it. Very nice heroic victory. Quite simple with the nest, with the pylos. We will quickly talk about the units on the battle screen and then end up. So my front lines might not did a lot of them damage or value 
but they were holding ground for very long. Then my chargers did insane amount of work and damage and they did more value than young spears. So I really recommend using Pelian Downwatch units as well. And that's it. See you later.